Hey guys, welcome to the video of today. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to test continuity on your multimeter. I'm using a Fluke 117 here. Um, this is one of the little bit higher end ones, but you know, you can get these multimeters on Amazon. I've seen for as cheap as like uh, under $20. Um, well, let's get a closer look here and talk about continuity. All right, guys, so here's my multimeter. It's a Fluke 117. Um, today, we're gonna be testing for continuity. Uh, continuity is just ensuring that you have a completed circuit. When you do this, you wanna make sure whatever you have is either turned off or unplugged um, because the multimeter will supply the small amount of um, electricity needed to test the continuity. Um, so um, we have some different settings on here. Um, the one we're talking about today is continuity. It's this little wavelength one down here. So we're gonna turn my uh, multimeter from the off position to the little uh, wave one there. And you'll see that it has OL. Um, what OL stands for is open loop or open line or open circuit. It just means that your circuit is not completed. Um, you're going to take your two different colored leads. You should have a black and a red one. Your black one will go into the one listed COM. That's short for common. We're just going to go ahead and put that right in there. Um, and then we got two options for the red. Um, the A stands for amperage. Um, and then we have one on the other side with a V, a symbol, and the wavelength symbol. So that stands for uh, voltage, resistance, and continuity. So that's the one we're going to plug our red one into. Okay, first thing you want to do after you hook your leads up is to touch them together. Um, we're going to get a beep here. Most multimeters will have the beep. Uh, if they don't, you're looking for a zero. Um, that shows that you have a completed circuit. So best way to think of this is uh, whatever we're testing is going to have to bridge the gap between the red and the black. Um, I got some fun things for us to test today. Uh, first one is a little fuse here. Um, you know, you may want to test if your fuse is good or bad. Um, so we're going to go ahead and stick the red on one side and the black on the other. And we can see there that we have continuity. Uh, we're getting the beep and it's going down to zero. There we go. Okay. Um, another thing, I got another style fuse here. Let's go ahead and test that one. Some of these you can visually see if they're broke or not um, in the middle, but you may also just want to test it um, just to ensure um, that it's that it's it does have the continuity um, that it's supposed to. So let's go ahead and do this one as well. We're getting a zero there also. Okay. Um, got like a, a single wire here that we can test. Um, so same deal. This one has like a little uh, clip on the end. Um, we're going to stick that on one side there, um, and then on the other side, we're just going to touch the black to it. Let's try to stick this down here where I can actually get a steady. There we go. We can see that we got continuity there. We're getting our beep, uh, and we're down to zero. I have this mess of wires. Okay. Um, and... These wires are all color coded, so it makes it kind of easy for us. Um, but in the instance where you have like a bunch of wires and you're trying to figure out, you know, what one end is connected to the other, same deal, you know. So we'll stick this into our um, into our orange wire here, and then on the other end. You know, we can see this is where the orange one goes, but if these were all the same colors, we wouldn't know. And you could test the ends on the plug, and you can see there's the one right there that we were looking for. Um, so then we would know that this wire, um, you know, is completed circuit all the way over here. Try to set it down so I can get a better... There we go. All right, guys. Well, that was it in a nutshell for continuity. I hope this video helped you. Um, please like, subscribe, and comment if it did. I really appreciate you guys, and I'll have some more videos coming this way uh, in regards to how to use your multimeter. So thanks again, guys, and have a good one.